Hi there. If you search around through YouTube, you'll find a video called a rear naked choke tutorial, which is something I put out a few years ago on the rear naked choke, which is probably, arguably, the most powerful choke that you need to know for submission grappling, MMA, self-defense, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And people liked it. There's a couple hundred thousand views last time I looked. The thing is though, often when you're trying to put the choke on, people keep their chin down. Then you end up putting it across their face and squeezing, and that can work. You know, sometimes you can actually push the jaw into the throat, but a lot of it's pain tolerance, and it's kind of a brute force technique. So, recently, Eric Paulson showed me a really cool trick to get the rear naked choke when a person's got their chin down, and I want to show it to you. So, let's assume that Richie is on all fours, and I'm here, and I'm attacking the turtle. Now, I'm going to do one of two things to start out with. I'm going to end up with the basic harness or lasso or backpack grip here, and there's a detail that I'll show you in a second. And at the same time, I want my leg to hook his leg here. Now, depending on how he's turtled, I might need to do this a couple of different ways. Ideally, I get the lasso grip here, and then I fish for that ankle right here. With this turn of it. Please. You get the last suit grip, I put a lot of weight on his head, and I hook that ankle. Sometimes that can be harder if he's, all if he's tight and his heels are close to his butt. I might need to put some weight on his body, push him around, maybe put my hand in here, tilt him, move him around a bit, put my foot in here, and then go for the last suit, go for the harness. The only thing is if I sit here for a long time with my leg in between, he can do a rolling knee bar, so watch out for that. So. Either harness and foot, or I move him around, I might put my hand in the hip, control his wrist, tilt him a bit like this, step here, then get the last suit. From here, turn please, this knee is going to drive in between Richie's uh, tricep and his thigh. We're here, the knee's in. I've got the lasso, I've got the foot hooked. Now I'm going to fall onto my side. We're here. And this is a great angle to see what I'm doing because I'm going to drag his leg with my heel. And that allows me to triangle my legs. My hands remain in the harness position. Just show that from another angle as well. So we're here. Get the lasso, hook the leg. The knee is in, fold the side, drag this leg, triangle my legs. Now, here's one of the tricks. I don't have my hands in the center of his chest. My bottom hand is grabbing my top wrist, but even so, if I leave my hands in the center of his chest, Richie can get his hands on my hands, his hands on my wrist, and he can grip fight. So what I do is I hide it under his armpit. It's a lot harder for him to get at here. He might get one hand on it, he's not probably going to get both hands. Now, I've got my legs triangled. If I want, I double triangle them, so I leave my instep here. And now what I'm going to do when I want to get the choke, his chin is down, he's protecting well, he's trying to grip fight as best as he can, is I arch my hips forward. Basically, I bend him backwards. This is painful. And from here, it opens up the neck. Now, I either do a short choke or the full rear naked choke. I never bother going for the second hook. And from here, I squeeze. So, from another angle, turn this way, please, Richie, right here. We're here. I hook the leg. I fall. I keep my hands under his armpit. I triangle my legs. I also use my instep step here to stay tight. Now I arch back, his chin is down, he's all protected, he's got his hands up. I arch him back, this is painful. I go for the choke, and I finish here. So, that's worked really well for me, and it's super powerful, and you can do it to bigger people. If Richie, Richie can do this to me, there's probably a limit. You know, you probably can't do this to somebody who's twice as big as you are, but if somebody's 30, 40 pounds bigger than you, you can arch because basically your ability to arch this way, which is what you're doing, 
with your legs triangle arching is stronger than the other person's ability to do a crunch. 